what a weird game. Like, what a strange game this is. And I don't even think it's trying to be weird or strange on purpose. Like, some of those weird Japanese games, like LSD the Dream Emulator. This game is, like, trying to be slick and futuristic, but it's unintentionally weird. It's a lot of walking around and then some on-rail shooting. Uh, the walking around parts of this game kind of remind me of a point-and-click adventure game where you sometimes get to react, but it's just so stupid and weird like first of all the movement sucks you control your character in the perspective of your character so like if your character wants to go forward you're gonna go forward relative to where your character fa is facing and not where you're facing and then the left and right keys kind of turn you around but not all the time just kind of sometimes and then if you want to uh, look back you can press down but sometimes you can't look back and you're not always facing up, down, left, or right. Sometimes you're facing to the side. Sometimes, well, all the time, the camera keeps changing. So walking around this game is just really confusing. The simple act of going from one part of a room to another is a struggle. Walking 20 feet should not be this complicated for an adult. For a super secret agent from the future. This is like a toddler simulator. You have to put in commands into gameplay and then the character reacts. And once in a while you have to react because there's like people shooting you or telling you to do things. And you don't even know what to do in these parts. Like there's this one part where a woman tells me to slow down and turn around and drop my gun or whatever. And if I turn around she shoots me. If I shoot her the game's over for some reason. I have no idea what to do. It's just so confusing. Thing. And sometimes you actually have to like do things in the game where there's no need to do anything like you have to press forward when you're about to kiss a woman. Why give me that option? Just like make him kiss automatically. Who cares? There's no way you can fail something as simple as moving your face towards someone else's face. This is like the mid 90s equivalent of press F to mourn. Press up to kiss woman. This on foot gameplay just pretty much sucks in this game. It's confusing, it's pointless, it makes no sense. Like once in a while there's action sequences. There is one action sequence where uh, these bad guys, they captured me and they were torturing me to get information out of me. I did absolutely nothing to escape. Just by dumb luck, someone ran in, they shot the guy that was torturing me, and then the guy shot the person that ran in, and just by complete stupid, idiotic, dumb luck, both of the people fell down and I was able to escape. But I did nothing. I had nothing to do with that action sequence. The on-rails shooting is pretty cool in this game. That's pretty much the only cool thing in the game. It looks good, like the graphics are very grainy, but they're very good graphics. And you're flying through these beautiful, majestic worlds, and you're shooting your crosshair at different enemies, either on the ground or other ships flying at you. It's pretty tough. I mean, the enemies move fast, you're flying pretty fast. You really have to pay attention and aim really well. Uh, this game should have just been this. Like, if it was just Unreal shooting in these uh, pre-rendered grainy worlds, that would be fine. Like, this could be a decent, good game if it was just that. Literally just cut out all the pointless, slow, annoying, broken, walking around and investigating, and the pointless, stupid action sequences, action in quotations, and this game would be like a good game, but what the game actually is, is just a lot of confusing padding, walking around, and then flying once in a while. It's just not worth it for that. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more classic game reviews. Goodbye, my friends.